a temple must definitely have elements that elevate your consciousness being at a place being with elements being with people being with structures being with sights scenes sounds that remind you of the beyond that take the lowly consciousness to a high point where it becomes receptive to signals from the sky are you getting it that's a temple so a temple first of all must have those elements secondly wherever those elements are present that place is a temple even if you call it by some other name are you getting it so look at the effect the whole situation the whole arrangement the whole architecture is having on you is it taking you beyond the mundane things that keep circulating in your mind if yes then it deserves to be called a temple if no then it is just another place entertaining probably imposing probably but not elevating the aspect of elevation is central temple is a place where you are elevated if you are not being elevated the place is not a temple and if you are being elevated in some place that place is most definitely a temple right so you know ideally today's temples must be great centers of learning temples must be spiritual universities a temple just cannot be a place where there are some stone carvings and such things real education has to be imparted in temples that's elevation of consciousness no temples have to be centers of not only education in scriptures they must also be centers where education is imparted in arts and sciences because unless you are scientific it will be very difficult for you in today's age to be really spiritual in fact i have this vision Vishanti was organized in Udaipur in the month of February. So I was with Anshu one night till very late two three, and we saw a temple on a hill top. And I said one day it is possible that we will raise a real temple, not just a temple where you go and ring the bell and get the prasad. not a temple where all kinds of superstitions breed but a temple that would be a center of real scientific research a place where fine arts find great expression a place where human consciousness is refined broadened elevated in all possible ways i remember i said to him that in a temple it must there must be a, a center of contemporary studies where one is taught about all the current worldly issues a temple must really be a university in the purest sense of the word hmm great creativity must arise out of a temple a temple must be a place where great ideas are discussed a temple must be a place of conversation and healthy debate 
great scholars from all directions and dimensions must converge in the temple. When people go to a temple, they must return enriched. You are able to listen to a profound lecture or to an animated debate. You come to know of things that you otherwise do not know. Economics is being discussed, geopolitics is being discussed. The recent cutting edge and great advancement in physics are being discussed. There are physicists, there are medical researchers, there are geologists, there are cosmologists and they all are present in the temple. That's what a temple must really be like. And obviously when I say all that, the foundation of the temple has to be mystical. I'm only talking of those things that are currently missing in temples. I must correct myself, actually mystics too are missing in temples, so I must talk of them as well. So when consciousness is raised, only then it becomes capable of transcending into the mystical dimension. Consciousness under the burden of gravitation with all its shackles cannot fly away, cannot gain freedom from the worldly entanglements. First of all, it must gain clarity with respect to the world. When there is clarity and knowledge with respect to the world, only then there is a possibility of going beyond the world. So temple must first of all be a place of knowledge, then a place of learning and then a place of mysticism. It has to be a, it has to be a composite thing. Right? One day, God willing, we will come up with such a temple. Let's see. How would it be to, you know, find a lab of nuclear physics in one side, in one quarter, hmm? and an aggregation of the world's best dancers on the other side, both in the same campus? How would it be? Hmm? Live long, everybody, to see that day. I hope I also live long enough to see that day. Hmm?